What's up dreamers? I'm at Ashburnham UK at an event called Uprising Europe where Christians from all over the world have gathered to pray for this continent and the location is stunning. Check it out. So now I'm gonna show you where I've been set up for the week in my little digs upstairs. Room 300, this is Sparta, baby. So this is where I roughly get about three hours of sleep a night. Got this fabulous little setup here with the kettle and the tea bags, of course, because we are in England. Over here, we've got the uni student sink. Babe, if you're watching, I'm so sorry that I've got a plastic toothbrush. I know it's not bamboo, but I forgot mine, and this is the only one the shop had. Currently, I'm staying in here on my own, but apparently someone tomorrow is gonna join me, and so I'll have to tidy up a bit, and I don't know who they are, or what they are, or where they're from, but maybe you'll meet him, maybe you won't. Sounds to me like the band is rehearsing for another session tonight. Uh, what I've gathered is they actually invited someone from every nation in Europe to come to the event this week, and to pray, and to worship, and I think that is just Awesome! Apparently there were some guys who have been driving for the last two days to make sure that they're here. I've made friends from Spain, from Croatia, from Sweden, and I'm a huge fan of traveling and getting around, so this is my kind of event. You guys look like you're having so much fun doing so much hard work right now. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good, good. I am going to make an assumption Mm -hmm. Are you guys from the Philippines? Yes. Wow! You are. Are How you too? You know? Because I am a huge fan of the Philippines. Wow. I was there for like six months. Whoa! And Where are the Philippines? everywhere. Oh, really? Yes, I made a film about a pastor who ran the whole length of the country. Is that fa Pastor Fred? Pastor Ferdy Kapili. Yeah, oh, that's our pastor. That, what? Yeah, from Victory. So you yeah. you probably saw my video. I believe God made me for a purpose, and He made me fast. When I run, I feel His pleasure. It was yours. Yeah. Whoa, that's no. why. Oh wow. No What's your name? I'm Joseph. So nice to meet you. CJ. It's so good to meet you guys. Yeah. Um, Salamat yeah. for coming all this way. Wow. <laughs> dropping, <laughs> dropping the only Tagalog yeah. word I can oh, remember. Ready, are good, ready, yeah. Yeah. But I can't believe that. <laughs> You're in my vlog now, by oh, the way. Yeah. Oh, so I hope vlog. you've made it onto YouTube. Woo! How do you feel? Okay, you heard it. That was, I'll translate what she said is like, yeah. subscribe. I'm so happy I've met some Filipino, Filipino, a Filipino, a Filipino, a Filipino. Bebo, 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 bebo. So if you came all the way from the Philippines here, why? Why did you come? Because God called us. If God says go, don't say no. Okay, so, so how did God call you to come to England? Yeah, so like a few weeks before the July 4 or July 8th, uh -huh. this event, it was like three weeks in preparation. Mm -hmm. And so God told me to just register to this uprising. And I was like, why would I register? How I did he tell you? How did God speak to you to say that? Well, well, he revealed it to me in my dreams. In your, in your months dreams? Months before. Yeah. And then all the dreams and visions that I had, mm. he revealed, interpreted it in one night in during worship. Uh -huh. And he told me that, you see that one moon, that's Europe, I'm going to take you there. Be like Abraham, mm. have faith. Come on. Yeah, we were like in a tent. And I was like, wow, this, this was the tent that in my dream. What? This tent this was one? in my dream. The British Bake Off tent was yeah. in your dream? 
Yeah, I was looking at these six moons and God was like, you know, those six moons are the six continents and the last moon that I see in my dream is, that is Europe. You're gonna go there. What? And so yeah, I'm here and God says, okay, I should, I should just obey and then I'm here. I'm excited. This amazing. And you're in a really random place in the middle of England <laughs> where no <laughs> tourist ever comes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here. Yeah. And we're so happy you're here. Yes. And this is great. Well, there you are from my Filipino friends. Bye bye. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. This is me just flying the drone. I'm not totally sure what I'm doing, but I'm feeling pretty confident because, you know, it's like playing PlayStation, really, isn't it? Maybe. Looking straight into the sun right now. It's so hard to like hire a drone. You need to be in the middle of nowhere, private land. You've got to check online. In England, it's so hard. I could get shot down by the army at any point right now. I did it. Successful flight. There was a second there when I really thought that I was gonna actually crash land it into the lake, but it's not, it's safe. It returned home okay, and the footage is looking sick. Let's go check it out. Can confirm, drone is safe and sound. I didn't crash it, I won't have to pay lots of money, and I made a friend in the process. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Veronica. Where'd you come from? I come from Dallas, Texas. I flew over here today. Wait, did you come all the way over here for this event? I did. Why? God told me to, and I said okay. How did God tell you <laughs> to come to England all the way from Dallas? I prayed about it, and God said, take a step of faith, go. There was something that he wanted me to participate in, or he wanted me to either receive, and I just bought a ticket, I told mm -hmm. my parents, and I flew out here. So, if he told you, in what ways would you say that God speaks to you? And particularly in this example, how, yeah. how did he almost reveal that to you? Yeah, so I just, I spend some time in the morning when I wake up, and I worship mm -hmm. God, and then I pray, and then I stay silent, and I listen for what he wants me to do. And so I was speaking to my friend, she told me about this event, and I prayed on it. God not only gave me peace in that moment, but then he confirmed it with a sign. My aunt, who is near and dear to my heart from Kansas City, actually sent me a letter and a CD of a local singer in her church, and on that card was a picture of London. She has never sent me anything like that before, and I was praying, I was like, God just send me a sign and confirm it. And when she sent that picture um, on a postcard, which is totally random, from Kansas City, I just knew that I needed to go. So, here we go. <laughs> what are your kind of prayers for the next couple of days at the conference? Like, what are you really going after? I'm praying for the youth to have the fear of the Lord. And I'm praying for the youth to have a better understanding of God's Word. And I'm praying for a revival amongst the younger generation across Europe. And I pray for a fresh upbringing of the Holy Spirit over Europe. And I'm praying for the harvest in Europe. And I'm praying for freedom from addiction in Europe. This youth will awake and will just open their hearts for the gospel again. And I pray for the love in Europe. And I'm praying for unity in Europe. Ang bansang Europa ay para sa Panginoon! Woo! We're in the office. Yeah, we are. Jack Kirch is here. Whoa. 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 Thanks for coming to help out. This is where we're editing and hanging and storing all our gear. And we can't use the desks. 
tower over there yeah. because we're stealing this cable through here and it's the only way that we get internet. Uh, we are literally just... stealing it. It's literally coming through window. Yeah, it is. It's going through window over there. It's going from the window to the wall. Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to end the vlog there. Thanks for tuning in this week. Like and subscribe and all of that boring stuff. Jesus is amazing. Europe is amazing. I love Jesus. Jack, is there anything you want to say to the fans? To the fans. <laughs> <laughs> to the fans. Keep rotating. Hey! Fans get it. <laughs>